Skipper Billy Sanders has been in some good Ipswich teams, but few compare with the current side. Sanders and John Cook lead the averages, but younger riders like Nigel Flatman are making some important contributions. This year the team is certainly better balanced with all the changes that has, has happened. And, um, you know, as I, as I say, I think that, that maybe, you know, I've been with Ipswich for a lot of years now and I've even won some league titles with them. And back in 1976 we had a fantastic team, but I think that, that this team we've got now would even give that team a run for its money. Ipswich went down 40-38 in Wednesday's first leg at Cradley and it was level pegging, 12 all on the night, going into heat five. Then John Cook in the red helmet took over. A 5-1 maximum and his time of 59.4 just outside the track record. There was more determined riding in heat seven. Jeremy Doncaster a clear winner. But those cheers really for the newcomer, Carl Blackbird, in his first season in the British League and beating star riders Phil Collins and Alan Graham. The aggregate scores were level going into heat 10, but Sanders in the red helmet went through here to score an important win. Richard Knight battled his way through to take Alan Graham and finish second. Ipswich nearly home now. It was all over before Heat 12 had even started. Ipswich 38-28 ahead. Watch the white helmet of Cradley's Eric Gunderson. Referee Frank Ebden excluded him for a rolling start. Over. 